Friends, water tank which is there in our home, to fill that water tank, we use a single phase pump. Now this pump here, we want that according to water level in tank, this pump should turn on automatically and it should turn off automatically. Then for this, inside of water tank, we have to install this type of float switch. Now by using this float switch, we can turn on and off pump very easily. But problem which arises here is, if in this float switch, any kind of fault occurs, then whole current will flow in this water. If you want that you should remain protected from current in this water, then for this, you can use this type of SSR. To operate this SSR, we have to provide only DC power supply. That is, by providing 3 volt to 32 volt DC power supply, we can turn on this SSR and through this, we can turn on and off the motor. How we are going to do it, let's understand. See, water pump I have right now, this water pump is of single phase. I need to use a MCB here. With this MCB, I have to connect single phase power supply. Now on turning on this MCB, from these two terminals, we will get phase supply and neutral supply. So phase and neutral terminal of this MCB here, on these two terminals, we will connect two wires. And we will take these two wires, among these, take phase supply and with output terminal of SSR, like here you can see it is written output. So with the terminal which is there above this output, connect this phase supply wire. Now phase supply which is connected at this terminal, we will get output power supply of this at this point, when SSR is turned on. So from this terminal, we will connect a wire and to this motor provide phase supply. That is, what you have to do, in between this phase supply here, you have to connect SSR. Full form of SSR is solid state relay. Solid state relay is a kind of device which is used to turn on and off any heavy load. And that also by using low voltage or by using other type of power supply. Like for now, by providing DC power supply, we will turn on and off AC power supply load. How it will be done, you will get it. So for now, we provided phase supply to this pump. Now if we want to run this pump, then we need to provide neutral power supply also. So in this cable, there is neutral power supply wire. Take this wire and connect this wire with this motor. It means we have to connect this power supply from MCB with the motor. Only SSR we have to connect in between, so that we can turn on and off motor as per our requirement. Now after doing this much work, to turn on and off this SSR, we have to do connection. And as I told you, to turn on this SSR from 3V to 32V DC power supply we have to connect on these two terminals. For this, I am using a DC MCB here. Remember, for AC power supply, you have to use AC MCB and for DC power supply, you have to use DC MCB. Now this DC MCB here, we will connect DC power supply with this. That is, we connected positive wire of DC power supply at this point and connected negative wire with this point. Now in this MCB at this point, we will get positive power supply and at this point, we will get negative power supply. Now we will take this positive and negative supply and after this, negative power supply here, take this supply directly and in this SSR with negative terminal, this terminal, connect this supply with this terminal. You can see negative symbol is there, so on this terminal we have to provide negative power supply. You can see one more thing here, for now I am using 12 volt DC power supply here. Now this DC power supply cable here, in this cable there is positive wire also. So we will take this and after this float switch here with common wire of float switch, suppose blue wire is common wire, so with this wire we connected this wire. Now from this black wire we will get output power supply when float switch faces downwards, it means this is NC contact wire. So with this wire, connect one wire and in this SSR with positive terminal here, connect this wire. It means positive power supply will first go to float switch, then it will return from there to provide signal to SSR. Now if this float switch is facing downwards, that is, if water tank is empty, then in this condition, SSR will turn on and due to this, pump will also turn on. Now when this water tank is full, then float switch goes upwards, then in this condition, in this wire, current will not flow, due to which this solid state relay will turn off. And when this is turned off, pump will also turn off. So in this way, by using DC power supply, we can do connection of float switch, so that this pump which works on AC power supply, we can easily turn on and off this pump through float switch. Thanks for watching this video.